Alright you lot, so it is day 15 of Inktober. Well done guys, we have made it to halfway. Rumour has it that days 10 to 15 are the hardest, so we beat through and it's all going to be plain sailing from here on out. I've been really excited for today actually. Um, it's been one of the prompts that I've been looking forward to for a while. Uh, after yesterday, I sort of took this morning easy. I got up and made some pancakes and a huge pot of coffee. I took the dogs for a walk, had a long shower, and then sort of just casually prepped up for the drawing today. Uh, I looked up some references on Google and set up my sort of recording station thing, and yeah, just got stuck in. So the prompt for today is mysterious and so I decided to draw a mysterious person. Put your guesses as to who you think it might be in the comments below, I'm pretty sure you'll get it, hopefully. Unlike the drawing for Shattered, um, even though I was using a reference, I still wanted to retain that sort of illustrative style, so rather than stick strictly to ink and washes, I did use more fine, fine liner this time. I really wanted the drawing to be an accurate depiction of the reference I used so I did spend a lot longer drawing than I usually do and you'll probably see that I erased a lot more. But once I had got that right um, it was just a case of inking it in. Um, the really nail biting bit was inking in the face. Um, I'd managed to get that right in pencil um, but when it came down to using the fine liner I was just really nervous to make sure that I got the eyes right and didn't jog myself but I think I did okay. Um, the overall drawing I'm really really happy with. Uh, it just looks the way I pictured it in my head and yeah I'm glad I spent that two hours drawing today then rather than rush it. But um, yeah, so, so with us all making it to day 15, um, I thought that for the rest of this video I would talk about how I coped with getting this far and what really helped me. Um, if you're thinking of doing Inktober then there is still time to start for this year, don't wait until next year. With two weeks and one day left there is plenty of time for you to improve and develop your inking skills so grab some paper and a pen and get drawing. But um, yeah so I'm just going to talk about how I prepared and what I have done to maintain my drawing and how I enjoy it. So. Um, yeah, in terms of preparation, there are some decisions that you've got to make um, and these you do have to give a little bit of thought to. So the first one is planning. Of course, disclaimer here is that everyone works differently. You've probably heard that a thousand times and you will hear it a thousand times again, but there is no one way of planning. Um, when I started, I planned to the nth degree and then after my first drawing, I realised that the stress of having these guidelines that I'd set out for myself really just made made it far less enjoyable than I wanted so I ditched that and started to work more spontaneously. I would have an idea pretty much on the day or at least the evening before and I wouldn't bother with any thumbnails but if you're someone who usually works spontaneously and finds that you end up wasting time trying to come up with an idea or you can't come up with an idea that quickly then perhaps planning a night the night before is something you should consider. Um, the other thing you've got to decide is are you going to follow the official prompt list or not? Um, if you don't follow the prompt list that doesn't make your Inktober series any less valid than someone who does. It's really just there for, for people who get stuck but um, I made it a challenge for myself to follow the prompt list as best I could and so far I've done that. And then after that it's you've got to decide what materials to buy, are you going to work on paper or a sketchbook, um, are you going to buy wet ink or just use pen, what pen are you going to use, a fine liner or a biro, I've seen so many people using all these different tools and it just gives you so many options so that is something to think about and decide upon. I went and picked out a sketchbook because for me Inktober was going to be about improving and I just expected there to be mistakes so I wanted a sketchbook for those mistakes rather than having the Inktober series piggyback on a different sketchbook so that's what I did. Um, 
Obviously, one big part of Inktober is being able to keep on going for 31 days. Um, so my tips for persisting are, the first is to give yourself a specific time in the day where you draw. So you sort of build up this routine of drawing every day. For me, I draw between half eight and 10 o'clock in the day. So when I'm sort of planning what my day is going to be, I will leave that time period empty and that is when I draw. Of course, I do alter it a little bit, say I may do it slightly earlier in the day if I know that I'm going to be busier in the afternoon or I may push it forward a bit if the lighting in my room isn't right at that specific time, which has happened a couple of times in the last two weeks. But giving yourself that general routine really does help you push forward in drawing every day. My other tip for persisting is to sort of interact with other people who are doing Inktober. One of the rules of Inktober is to post what you draw every day on some form of social media. So go out and try and find other artists and people who are participating and start trying to get a dialogue going with them. Speak to them, talk to them, ask them questions, get and just sort of chill out for a bit. I've been posting every day on YouTube and just the sort of community here has really helped me keep going. I've had people commenting on my ones, sort of really spurring me on to continue, giving me great advice and I have hopefully done the same for them. Um, so yeah, that is something that has really helped me is just sort of having that support from people online who want me to keep on going and it's been my drive to try and give them a video every day that has really helped me. My final tip for how to do Inktober um, and to persist at it is to definitely keep a mental note of how you're improving each day. Improvement can be measured in many ways. Um, the way that I would avoid measuring it is how accurate your drawing is. Um, the two ways that I measure my improvement is A, my attention span. So when I first started, I couldn't spend more than 45 minutes drawing something without having to get up and do something else. So for me to have been able to sit down for two hours straight and do this um, Inktober drawing definitely helps me realise how much Inktober has helped me. Um, the second way I measure my improvement is my ability to just sit down and draw off the bat rather than doing thumbnails and planning. So I was able to approach a blank page, sit down, pick up a pencil and instantly draw a character and a scene from, from the word go. And that really sort of encourages me to keep going to think how else I could improve on next. So those are my tips on how to do Inktober. Uh, if you have any others, then please comment them below so that myself and other people can read them. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up and share. Subscribe for more, turn on notifications and have a good Sunday. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.